What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be diving into some brand new products that I just got in the mail from a brand called Storybook Cosmetics. Now I know a lot of you have seen their, I'm gonna say the Harry Potter inspired makeup brushes that they came out with. They look something like this. I know a lot of um, beauty YouTubers have tested these out. I ordered them a while ago, got them in the mail, and I haven't tried them out yet because I was waiting for their eyeshadow palette to come in. Now I pre-ordered it, I think about like a month and a half ago. And I said, you know what, let me wait to try the brushes for when the palette comes and the day is finally here. So I have a quick confession to make. I have never fully watched a Harry Potter movie. I know, don't. I know all of you at home are like, now, Nathan is a huge fan of Harry Potter. He has watched all the movies. He's been to the amusement park at Universal Studios here in Los Angeles. He has every book, seen every movie probably like 10 times. Um, I've watched the first one halfway through and it was really late at night and I may have fell asleep on the couch. No tea, no shade. I know a lot of you or most of you have watched Harry Potter and you know um, way more than me. So the eyeshadow palette comes in this beautiful little velvet casing and then you pull it out and it looks like this. I love it. Like the packaging is stunning. Now this is $52 uh, retail. Now it's thick. You guys can see it looks like a, like a book that you would obviously put in on your shelf at home in your library, if you will. So you open it up and it has a giant mirror, which I love. And it has 12 um, shades. So I, of course, have not swatched these yet. I haven't tried them. So on their website, it actually says that there are three formulas in this palette. There is a matte, a metallic, and then a pearl. It also says that this is a vintage style storybook complete with gold foil detailing. I mean, girl, we see the packaging, it's stunning. Now here's one thing that I find a little strange. I asked Nate to come upstairs and look at this and I said, are these symbols or anything that is like real Harry Potter? Because on the website it says that Storybook Cosmetics is proud of this unique original creation inspired by all the magical stories they grew up with and loved. This palette is not sponsored by, endorsed by, or associate in any way with the owners or creators of any other pre-existing literary or artistic work. So I'm, I know that in the future this brand is saying that they are going to license other brands and do kind of like collaboration type things, but I thought this was licensed through Harry Potter and definitely inspired by Harry Potter, but on the website, um, I guess they don't want probably to get sued by the creator of Harry Potter. So I said, Nate, what does this packaging look to uh, like to you? And he said it is very um, like based on the Slytherin part of the books and this is very Slytherin. And then he said that the S on the thing looks like the Slytherin font. So I was looking Slytherin up on my phone and definitely the snake or this S does kind of look like this. I mean, obviously it is Harry Potter inspired probably for legal reasons they can't say that or maybe they couldn't get the license. Is Harry Potter ever gonna come out with cosmetics? Who knows? But I obviously think it's amazing um, and I'm not throwing any shade. I just was a little confused by that. I didn't even know what Slytherin was and then I found out that um, I actually run and control it because yes, I am Lord Voldemort. As so many people on YouTube have tried to call me that, I'm like, girl, that's not an insult. So I've already, of course, done my foundation, my contour, and my highlight. I have just primed the lids with some MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And of course, I know you're all gonna be like, girl, what is that highlight? It's a little blinding. This is from the brand Jouer Cosmetics and it is called Skinny Dip. Girl, I've been going in on that pan, don't try me. Damn, let's open up this baby. I love that you can fold the mirror back and it kind of sits on your vanity, it's really pretty. I love the shade names are a little different than a normal brand. They are very like, I just love the font, it's really cool. So I am going to go in first with this matte shade. Now I'm gonna go on the website and make sure um, oh no, this is not matte, my bad. On the website it says that it is a pearly white. So it is a pearl formula. So I definitely do not want that as my transition color. So I'm probably gonna go in with Charms. It says that it is a shell pink. It looks more kind of like a beigey, like camel tone. So I guess we're gonna try that first. All right, so let's see by dipping in for the first time what these look like. Oh. I mean, that coated the brush immediately, which I appreciate. I don't want my hair to get in the way, so we're just gonna clip her back as always. So I'm just gonna take this shade Charms and we're just gonna put it right in the crease. 
Now I do have no brows today. I've been loving the no brow look. It's just something fun and I haven't done it in a while. So first impressions, I like to tilt my head all the way back. Ooh, that is a really soft, pretty color. Like, that is really pretty and light. Sometimes I don't like transition shades to be really, really intense. Depending on the look, I don't even know what kind of look I'm gonna do today. We're just gonna roll with it. Now I will say this, this brush is easy to hold because as you see, when I'm holding it, my fingers go right in the groove of here. And yeah, it's pretty nice. All right, so that blended out really nicely. Now, of course, there's only five brushes, so I am gonna have to go into my personal collection and grab a few. There is a shade that is really pretty in here. It is called a broomstick. It is like this chocolate matte brown up here. Now, I am just going to take, what kind of brush should we use? Okay, I haven't used this one. Let's try her out. This has the little gold medallion on it. Definitely coated the brush immediately. Now to soften that, I'm gonna go back in with this brush. And what I like to do is like, I like to mix a lot of the time. So I'll take the brush and literally once go into that color or twice, and then I'll dip into the other one just so it kind of gives me a little blend, if you will. And then I'll go right in there where I put that chocolate brown and I will blend up just so it looks very seamless and very airbrushed. So now I'm gonna try the shade Sorcerer. It is this ruby red metallic. I'm just gonna pop a little bit into the crease just to give it some filet and a little bit of color. Now I'm just gonna take it and I'm not gonna go all the way down. I'm just gonna start from the middle and just kind of go over the brown. So now we have three shadows in here and ooh, this looks pretty. All right, you guys, I love how this is looking. Now I do wanna add some kind of pop above the color and kind of blend these all together. So I am going to go in with this pearl white shade called Prophecy, and I'm just gonna take a, I know I use this a lot for highlighting, but the little Morphe um, 510, and I'm just gonna go into that color. I'm just gonna take this and just kind of put it above the shadows that I've already blended together. And now we're just gonna add a little extra flare and a pop to it. Ooh, okay. So if you do have an eyebrow, of course, you're gonna put this color right below your brow hairs, and it is going to pop and look so Stunning. All right, you guys, I love how this is looking so far. Now I'm going to go in with this shade called Bewitched. It is a coppery gold metallic. Now, of course, I'm gonna try it without. Oh, wow, come on, Pearl. I was gonna wet the brush, but I might not have to. And I'm just gonna pop this on my lid. And let's see how it looks. If I think I need it, like I need some uh, Fix Plus, I will. But let's see how it's gonna pack on. Oh, wow. Hmm, okay, pigment. That's not bad, you guys. Okay, this is applying as if I had like kind of already wet the brush. I'm a little shook right now, not gonna lie. All right, you guys, I just tucked some of uh, the gold shade Bewitched in here. Now I'm really like feeling this blue shade Merlin and I really wanna try it. So I'm gonna go in with a little Tom Ford pencil brush and let's dab in here. Now usually blues have a lot of fallout with brands, but just going in here, not bad at all. The brush is fully coated. Let's just try this out. So I'm gonna take this and just really slowly work it under the lash line and be very careful because I don't know if there's gonna be fallout or not. Now I'm gonna take this brush with a little bit of that transition color that we first started with and just kind of go underneath the blue and soften it. All right, this shade looks stunning. Now I'm gonna take some MAC Smolder Eye Pencil and just kind of tuck that in the waterline. Ooh, I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> oh my lord, all this powder is like up my nostrils, girl. All right, let me take this pencil. It was a little cold. I'm gonna warm that bitch up, okay. Now I am gonna do some mascara, of course. No shocker here, I'm gonna be going in with my Benefit Roller Lash. And let's get these lashes ready. All right, you guys, this look is really complete. I'm not gonna do false lashes today. I'm kind of living because I haven't worn makeup in a few days. So my real lashes are actually like, ooh, they're like long and pretty. So I'm gonna keep that. But I am gonna go in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Give her a little shake. And we are about to set this makeup. And then we're gonna dive into some swatches real quickly and see what the rest of the palette looks like. But first, let's set. Whew, she's feeling refreshed, baby. 
All right, now let's get to swatching. All right, so I'm gonna do some finger swatches of the other shades that I did not get to use today. I will, of course, use them in the future. Now, this matte gray one called Cloak looks amazing. So I'm gonna take some clean fingers and we're just gonna go in like that. And, ooh, hello. And we're just gonna do this on my hand real quickly just to see what they look like. <gasps> Oh, that is a really pretty bitch. What? Okay, now we are gonna do this metallic green. It is called Potion, so I'm gonna go in with this finger. And then we will go in with Salem over here. And let's see what these look like. Here is Potions. Bam, ooh, that is pretty. Now my hand has no primer, has nothing on it. This is just bare skin. And here is Salem. Ooh, that is like a little duochrome moment. That is pretty. Now we have uh, Cauldron right here. And then we have Spellbook. So let's take Cauldron with this finger. I'm running out of fingers, y'all. And we'll just do right here. Ooh, that is a pretty like blackish gray. All right, now we're gonna do Spellbook with my thumb and then we're out of hands here. We're out of hands, we're out of fingers. All right, so I'm just gonna do that right there. Ooh, that one is stunning. Okay, I'm just gonna say this. Well, okay, we're gonna swatch one more. So there's one called Jinx. I'm gonna clean this finger real quickly on a paper towel. All right, so this finger has been cleaned. We're gonna go dip into this shade right here called Jinx. And let's see what this one looks like. Oh, it's almost like a, it's like a silvery pearl. Let's just go in. Oh, it's like a gray silver pearl all in one. Okay. Hmm. I'm like, that is so pretty. Imagine that's like a highlight too. Hey, you guys. So I'm going to give you my final thoughts right now. I already have the answer. I will say this. I'm sure you guys are not going to be um, shocked by this, but the Storybook Cosmetics Wizardry and Witchcraft Eyeshadow Palette is Jeffree Star approved. Now, of course, you guys can see from putting it on my eyes and these swatches, this palette has pigment. Now, for $52 and all the shades you get with the packaging and everything combined, it is definitely worth the money. I think that this palette is stunning. The pigmentation is on point. And for an indie brand, I am very impressed and I'm really happy to support a company like this because I think they really knocked it out of the park with this launch. Now, the brushes, I will say, were pretty good. I did not know what to expect because I was like, okay, the handles are amazing but are the bristles gonna be cheap? Are they gonna be nice? Um, they're not the best brushes on earth. They definitely kind of feel like that vegan synthetic type of, um, not, I, don't know, I don't wanna say drugstore, but kind of drugstore brushes, I guess. Um, of course, the packaging is stunning, um, but it blended out everything great. There was no problems. It didn't drag or make anything look patchy. It was pretty good. Now, I know that they are coming with a lot more stuff. They have brushes that look like real roses, which of course I pre-ordered because I know you guys are all gonna ask me to try them out. So those will be coming, I think, next month. Um, I love that this brand lets you pre-order stuff and then it comes in a few weeks or a month later so you know there's no anxiety like, oh my God, am I gonna get one? And they do restock often and have several pre-orders. So I don't, I think this palette is sold out right now, but of course, who knows if you're gonna be watching this today, tomorrow, or in a month. So check on their site if you want to get this and I'm sure they're gonna come out with a lot more stuff. So I am, um, really pleased with this brand. So shout out to you ladies. You guys are on an amazing start. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial and this first impressions. And I will see you on the next one. Bye guys. Love you. Mwah.